puzzle games are not the most popular genre out there. Honestly, I can't remember ever playing a puzzle game except for a free one on a computer. But someone thought it would be a necessity that the PlayStation have its own puzzle game. Now, I know what you might think. There are tons of puzzle games on every platform. No, I'm not talking puzzle games like that. I mean Jigsaw puzzles. More specifically, Jigsaw Madness, which probably gets its name from the madness you will go into from playing this game. But more on that later. There are no tricks, no surprises, no bells and whistles. This is a jigsaw puzzle game. The way you solve puzzles may have some differences, mainly it's on a video game console instead of on your coffee table, but the main principles still apply. You select your puzzle from a fairly big selection of different photos. There are your sports scenes, your beach scenes, and your nature scenes. After you select your photo, you select the amount of pieces. You can be a little guy and do 24, more adventurous with 96, or go for a real challenge with 150. Those take some major time and commitment to complete. The puzzle pieces go into one of the outlines, although you can have those go away. There are a small selection of pieces available at the top of the screen. You grab a piece and move it into place. If you can't figure out where it goes, you can discard it and it will be replaced with another new piece. This is an effective system as you don't feel overwhelmed by a million pieces being on screen at once and you not knowing where to even begin. And it seems like the game is forgiving, having pieces appear in somewhat of an order, with edge pieces coming out early and when you place one, one that goes fairly close by normally comes around soon. But where the madness of Jigsaw Madness comes from is the music. Sure it's not terrible, sure it's not that special, but when you are trying to figure where a piece goes and the same music just keeps on looping and playing and looping and playing, you will start to lose it. It gets into your head and won't let you forget. I recommend muting the TV and playing your own music. If you love puzzles and you don't have room where you live to set one up, you enjoy Jigsaw Madness. The music does breed madness, but just enough to have you start another puzzle. 